What's going on, Gangsters Movie John 75 here, and I got the shadow in the background because I got the light shining on me. Because I done told you about 58 times, I get sucky ass lighting in my bedroom. Anyway, I'm going to show you off the Batman DVD collection. Uh, mainly cartoons, but I do have a few of the movies and stuff. And a lot of this has been over the last year. I really got on a kick there for a while, and I was buying up some Batman, man. And I love some Batman. And I hope you love some Batman, because if you love some Batman, you're going to love this video. First up, oh yeah, got to dust it off a little bit. Batman Begins. Now, this is the first one in the new trilogy that came out. Of course, I don't have to tell you a whole lot about it. It's pretty good. It's got the Scarecrow in it. But this one is my favorite. The Dark Knight Returns. Heath Ledger made this movie. The Joker. My, the best villain ever. Especially for DC. That's my favorite. And Batman's my favorite hero in the DC universe. So that's just what it's going to be like. That was my favorite out of them. Uh, the next one, of course, you're going to know. It's The Dark Knight Rises. This one's alright. Didn't really care for a whole lot of it. Bane is... Well, he's Bane, you know. I didn't think it transferred that good into a movie, but what you gonna do? <clears throat> Next up, these two are some juicy ones. This is The Dark Knight Returns, and it's uh, part one. <clears throat> and The Dark Knight Returns, part two. And this is Frank Miller's uh, version of Batman, and this is the, the I got the trade uh graphic novel and um the, you know years later they decide to put it out it's really good some people like part two better i like part one a little bit better but part two does have the joker in it um if you haven't read the damn frank miller trade or if you don't want to read it and you want to watch the damn cartoons these are two great ones to pick up i waited a long time for to find these to go down in price they, everywhere I was checking there for a while, gangsters, it was about $20 a piece, and I tried to get the best deal ever. Uh, when I started collecting these, this was the newest one at the time. This was Batman vs. Robin. It was an alright one. It was mostly, it had the, uh, you know, the the thing about the, the owl there. It was like the courtship of the owl, or whatever you call that shit. I can't remember exactly, gangsters. They had a uh night of the owls or bullshit of the owls or allage alley valley one i don't know what they i'm just making up shit now pretty good one though um son gets a little pissed off you know he wants to be he wants to be the man but you know there's some more craziness in that one uh before that one was this one and this is a good one batman assault on a sarkum arkham a sarkum argum uh, of course, Harley Quinn's in this one. I wanted to get the one that had a special feature about nothing but Harley Quinn. But of course, I couldn't find that one at the time at our crazy-ass stores. So, I got this one. Pretty juicy. Oh, next up, it's the one. I'm kind of going in reverse. This is the one before that one. This is Son of Batman. And this is, he leads off onto, you know, that other one that I was just showing you earlier, the... Batman and Robin. Uh, this one's pretty good, too. He finds out he's got a son. And he's trying to be like a ninja gangster up in front of that one. That was a pretty juicy one. Uh, we're going from there into the original 1943. I got to dust a little bit, I believe. 1943 movie serial collection. This has got includes all 15 segments. Uh, back in the 40s. Two disc. So, believe it or not, I've had this for almost a year and I have not watched it yet because I got a kick on watching the cartoons. It was real cheap at FYE, so I got it. And being a collector gangster, sometimes you might get a ton of shit at one damn time and, and get more and more shit and eventually you get around to watching it. That's all I got to say. Under the Red Hood, another great one. Ooh. Look it on the back, let you see. Got a little sticker. I think this one was used at Cheap Thrills. Not Cheap Thrills. FYE. Next up, year one. Oh, yeah, I got the uh, graphic novel of this one, too. 
That's a pretty good one. It's a different take on some stuff. Oh, from this moment on, none of you is safe. Well, at least that's what the back says. Throwing them all over there and then later on, you know, I'm going to have a mess. Uh, double feature. This is Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero, and Batman Beyond the Movie. I got this one at Walmart. Oh, I almost dropped it there. Five dollars. Uh, these are older ones. These are mainly from the 90s, I think. Batman Beyond might have been a little newer. But they put them on the same set for five dollars. So I said, hell with it. I got to get that. Lady was with me that night, too, and I grabbed it. I think this is the very first full-length movie, Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, I've seen it years ago, but I think this is the very first one that they started doing these movies with. And that's uh, pretty juicy. I think I said juicy about every one of them. Now, this one is Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. And if you haven't watched Batman Beyond, yeah, he looks a lot different. And it's not really Bruce Wayne, but Bruce Wayne is in control behind the scenes. And he's teaching a new Batman. And this is like in the future. And uh, kicks pretty good ass in this movie. And uh, hey, <laughs> Batman Beyond. So I decided to get it. Get a little bit of variation. You know, Batman. There's so much different shit that they can do with Batman. And this one's Gotham Knights or Knight. This one at first you know the art in it and stuff the way the cartoon was i really didn't care for but it grew on me oh yeah it grew on me next up uh lady found this one for me batman versus dracula this one's different mainly got the penguin in this one more than anybody else but it's a pretty juicy one. Oh, then we're going from there into the i would say original but one of my favorite movies, Batman, and this is just the Batman. This is from the 80s with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I shouldn't have to tell you all that. If you like Batman, you'd be knowing this movie. Uh, next two, and the last two, really, got another gangster in it with him. And his name is Superman. And I got some Superman collection, too. So uh, maybe another video for that one. This is Superman and Batman, Public Enemies. This one was a pretty good one. I think this is the one that's got Supergirl in it too, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. Or it might be the other one. Shit. Some of these movies run together after you get so damn many of them. And Superman, Batman, Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. There's some shit going down in this one, gangsters. But uh, that's my Batman collection. DVD collection, I should say. I really don't have no VHS because I collect horror in the VHS, uh, well, I do collect some cartoons too, but uh, that was all the Blu-ray, Blu -ray. that was all the Batman. And there's a new one coming out. I think it's, uh, what the hell was it called? Uh, Bad Blood, it comes out in January, that's a new one. And then there's still another one that I don't have, it's called Mystery, it's called Batman Mystery of the uh, Batwoman. And I gotta get that. And of course there's, seasons and stuff of Batman uh, animated series from the 90s that I, I love. I, there's like four of them, I believe. And there's Beware of the Batman. There's a bunch of other series. But I was starting to get a kick on the movies. And I grabbed up them movies. And I'll be getting some more. Add some more to the collection. Eventually. Till next time, gangsters. Watch some Batman. <laughs>